Sweet. So this week, we're going to be painting a beautiful butterfly. So you're going to need a paper, a pencil, and a black crayon. And at school, we're going to be using watercolor paints. So we're going to use a bowl of water and our lovely little paint trays. And you may need a pair of scissors as well. So today we're going to be drawing a symmetrical butterfly. Now I am going to be making a monarch butterfly. And if you see from these pictures, these are the butterflies that we usually see around here in Texas. Uh, they're pretty common. I saw one flying around my yard yesterday, actually. So here's how we're going to make it symmetrical. And when I say symmetrical, I mean the same on both sides. So if we, if we're looking at this butterfly here, if I drew a line down the middle, it's pretty much exactly the same on this side and that side. And people are the same way. If we drew a line down the middle of us, you'd see one side is pretty much the same as the other. So we're gonna do that to our butterfly. So I'm gonna take my paper and fold it in half. Now today, I'm only gonna draw half of my butterfly, and I'm gonna show you how to turn it from half into a whole butterfly. So I'm gonna start by drawing it in pencil, and I'm gonna draw very lightly. So if I'm only drawing half of the butterfly, I'm only gonna draw half of its body and one wing. So I'm gonna draw the body here, and they're kind of long shaped like this. I'm gonna give them an antenna. And I'm going to make a nice big wing. Now the butterfly, the wing, is the really important, beautiful thing that you see. So I'm going to make a nice big wing. And then I'm going to draw those lines that you see inside of a butterfly. And you can make these any kind of way you want. You can just make a couple. If you want to make a whole bunch. You're the artist. So I'll let you decide how many you do. So if you can see that, so I'm only drawing half of my butterfly. Now next, I'm gonna go trace over my pencil lines with a black crayon. Now while I'm doing this, I am going to make my lines. I'm gonna color this all in black. And we're gonna make those lines really dark and really thick. So I'm gonna go over with my crayon and darken those lines and make them really, really thick and black. And in a minute, you're gonna see why. So I'm gonna trace over all of these, just like a real monarch butterfly would have. Thick and dark. That's what we wanna do today. Keep it thick and keep it real dark. Now, after I have finished tracing all of my butterfly, this is when the magic happens. So I'm gonna fold my paper up. I'm gonna take some scissors. You could also use a ruler to do this or anything that's really hard. And I'm gonna use the handle of my scissors. And I'm gonna rub my paper like this all over, especially where that butterfly is. And this is a fun, magical trick that we do in art to make things perfectly symmetrical, the same on both sides. So after I open it, I can see it transferred to the other side and I can see it all really well. Now, if there are parts that you can't see, you can fold it, just remember where that is. That's gonna be this part here. Rub it really well again. And you see it popped right back. Now, after I've done that, I'm gonna go back in and retrace all of these things. To create my beautiful butterfly. Now, after I've traced it all, if we look, 
we can see it looks exactly the same. So now we are going to paint it. So we're gonna use our watercolors. Now, if you wanna do it traditional and keep the Monarch butterfly mostly orange and red, um, you could do that. You could change it and do other colors. It's totally up to you. So I'm gonna take my brush, dip into my paint. So we wanna get those nice and wet. So I'm gonna dip in a couple times that nice and wet. Then I'm going to paint. Now, once I have painted a section, then I'm going to go to the other side and do it the exact same color. So we want to keep it symmetrical, the same on both sides, like a real butterfly would be. Now, after I finish painting one section, I'm going to clean my brush in the water. So I'm going to rinse it out really well. Then I look at it and I'll hold that up real close. Make sure all that red paints off before you go and stick it in another color because we don't want to mix these colors up in the tray because then whoever uses them next is going to get dirty paint and that's not going to be fun for them. So. Always clean your brush before you switch colors. Okay. So, as you can see, you're gonna go through and paint your whole butterfly. Now, if you're at home and don't have paints, you can color this with marker, crayon, color pencil, anything you got. And then if you wanna paint the background, you can. By background, I mean the space around it. If you wanna use your scissors and cut it out and have a pretty cut out butterfly to use, totally your choice. Hope you enjoyed making a symmetrical butterfly this week, kids, and we'll see you again next time.